I talked to Coach Calipari a couple of times about this. When you get these one-and-done kids, these uh, kids who are all Americans, top five, they know they're going to be first-round picks, trying to convince them to play team basketball where they've been the star, the go-to guy, preferential treatment. And the one thing that stands out, continues to stand out, certainly with Zion Williamson, is it feels like he... He seems to have understood or understands team first as well as any star player I've seen in a long time. And this is at an early stage of his college career. Um, how much development do you help with that, or is that just Zion? I think it's it's pretty much him. You know, we recruited him, and actually our four freshmen are very – very similar in that regard. They're very, what I call it is being secure about who they are as players. And uh, they don't need an individual spotlight. They want the spotlight on the team and their, their individual stuff will show. They're all about winning. Zion is all about winning. He's like a beautiful young man to coach. I mean, not, not good. I mean, great. Yeah. Upbeat. Actually, uh, uh, our kids came in before class to have an early morning lift and breakfast, and I saw him downstairs. He's always upbeat, uh, upbeat, and uh, team guy, and he's really a good basketball player. You know, up until I think eighth grade, he was not as tall or big, and, and he played point guard. And uh, so he understands the game really well. He has really good ball handling skills. And uh, he's, he's, uh, and he keeps growing as a player. Uh, beautiful, beautiful kid <laughs> to coach and obviously a great talent. You've had to encourage him to shoot and I guess encourage him yeah. to shoot the jumper. Is that why is he reticent? Well, you know, it's uh, he's a little bit of a perfectionist, and and he, you know, his shooting percentage is off the charts. So anything going to the basket, he has. If he misses, he has an extraordinary second jump. You know, like to go after a miss, and I think it comes from he doesn't like to miss, and boom, he goes after it. When he shoots a jump shot. Or he doesn't even have to shoot a jump shot. It can be a set shot because of his driving ability. They'll, they'll play off. And uh, uh, when he misses, I think he, he was looking at that as a mistake. And, and what we've told him is, you know, you, you're going to get 15, 20 shots in a ball, in a ball game. And uh, it's, you know, if you hit – if you go two for five from three or whatever, that's that's okay. Or even if you go zero for three from three, and you're doing the other things, that's okay. Just be, don't look at it as a mistake. Uh, we just uh, had a good game against Wake Forest the other night, and he was thirteen for sixteen from the floor and uh, three for four from three, and and uh, two of the three misses. One was on a. T- you know, a dunk from right up under the bucket that just flew about 30 feet up in the air and on a missed offensive rebound. Other than that, he he, he missed one three. And so he's a, an incredibly efficient uh, scorer uh, really, and, and a really good passer. The kid is a, is a gem. I mean, he, uh, he he's going to be – He's, obviously, he's really good and outstanding for us, but he he has a great, great future. Yeah, he's got a great feel. Uh, he he seems to enjoy his teammates' success as much as, if not more so, than his Definitely. own success. And that it's rare. And I was watching the Wake Forest game. I, I he has he's a good passer, probably an underrated passer. Good touch, good feel for the game. And uh, I know after the game, he was like, I don't want to be known as a dunker. Um, yeah, well, that's all people show. Yeah, and 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 I understand that, but he makes he's a player. He makes plays. His lateral quickness is crazy good, and uh, he's so easy to play with. And one of the really cool things is his relationship, not only not with all of his teammates, but especially with R.J. Barrett, and uh, and R.J. is a He's one of the best players in the country, and the two of them are—they're like brothers. They—they're 
with each other all the time. They're, uh, you know, it's beautiful, really, to watch. And it's not contrived. It's it's real. And uh, uh, that, that our team has that. And hopefully we can continue to get better with the competition that we'll face and uh, keep learning and by March become, the, you know, a, a very special team. Do you miss recruiting the kid who's going to be there for three or four years? I know you have some, but well, do, you, do you miss that? Yeah, no, we still do. And it's just, you know, we go after the same level of young man that we've always gone after. You know, he's really good good student and a good kid and it just we can we attract a high level of talent and but we've all you know we've done that for a long time and that high level of talent now goes early especially if we do a good job with them and 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 put them in a system that is more pro-like and we we feel like ours is uh um we're not the only ones but we're you know we play man we we run we teach team basketball we teach them how to take care of themselves uh and nutrition training and all that and so they get better and and when the time comes they are prepared and our guys are are doing a good job in the nba uh, I can make a guarantee that I'll be at the Final Four this year. I'm not sure if you'll be there, but if uh, if Duke is lucky enough to if get our, there. If my team is there, I'll be there. If not, yeah. I, I won't be there. Okay, but if yeah. you're there, I mean, I just in case, if you need me to do a drive-by, um, shooting drills, some inspirational talk, I'd be more than happy to do that, Coach. Free of charge. You know what? I, I got an idea. If we're there, I could bring someone who's really successful and to talk and have you talk and say, look, if we win, we're going to become this guy. Yeah. If we don't win. Yeah. I'm going to become me. This other thing. Yes. Okay. And where you have a show where no one listens, but the two of us are having a hell of a talk. So I bring in Roy Williams and he talks and then, <laughs> and then I come in after that. He he is very successful. Yes, he I is. would not necessarily bring Roy into that <laughs> setting, but uh, just a thought. I, I do consider him a friend and very successful. So uh, maybe in another in, the, in some other context. Okay, I, I can all right. See that. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, yeah. th thank you, Coach. Uh, good luck against Florida yeah. State coming up on Saturday. We appreciate your time as yeah, always. Yeah, that'll be a big, big game. Thank you, Dan. Right. I appreciate it. All right. That's uh, Coach Mike Krzyzewski joining us. <laughs> yeah, I thought we'd just bring in somebody successful. Very successful. And then you bring in me. You don't want to be like that guy right there. You know what I would do? I'd slap the floor. Road, road got, style? Yeah, I would go in and slap the floor.